A prayer of repentance and forgiveness of sin. Mark 16, verse 16. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. This statement was made by Jesus during his earthly ministry, shortly before he ascended to heaven. Jesus mandated his disciples to go into the world and preach the gospel to the lost souls. He then affirmed that whosoever believe in him shall be saved and not face condemnation. We are naturally born into a world that is overwhelmed by sin, giving us a sinful nature. Therefore, it becomes necessary for us to accept the light of God into our lives and ask for forgiveness of our sins. We don't have to go through our day to day with guilt following us. We don't have to go through our day to day with a feeling the spirit of condemnation is following us. And we don't have to go through our day to day with unforgiven sin. Because the Bible says in 1 John 1 verse 9, If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So, let us pray. Lord, I come before you in the mighty and powerful name of Jesus to thank you, Lord, for what you did for me on the cross. Your word says in John 3 verse 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Thank you for the love you have for me. Thank you for giving your only begotten Son, so that I may have life. Father, you did not have to give your only Son for me, but you did because of your love for me, and for that I am ever thankful and ever grateful that my Saviour, my King, left his throne above in the heavens to come down to this world, to carry my sins, and to be nailed to the cross. Thank you, Father, for the salvation that is made available to all. Lord, I humbly come before you. I know I'm a sinner. I know I'm not worthy of your love or pardon. But your grace has found me. I humbly come before your throne of mercy that I may receive pardon for my sins. Lord, I ask you in the name of Jesus that you may have mercy on my soul and forgive my sins in Jesus' name. Your word asserts in Hebrews 4 verse 16, Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. According to this promise of hope and assurance, I come boldly before your throne, Father, and ask that you may grant mercy. I confess all the sins and the transgressions that I have committed unto you, and I ask forgiveness. Father, I ask that you may forgive me for every lie I have told. Forgive me, Lord, for every impure thought or action I have committed. Have mercy upon me, O Lord, 
Forgive me for any time I have fallen short of the standard of your holy word, in Jesus' name. I know my righteousness is like that of a filthy rag. Wash me clean by your blood, in Jesus' name. Purge my sins and sanctify my life, in Jesus' name. I need your sanctification. Sanctify my life, in Jesus' name. Just like the psalmist prayed in Psalm 51, verse 10, Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Likewise, I am praying unto you, asking you, Lord, that you may renew the right spirit within me, in Jesus' name. Create in me a clean heart, Cast me not away from your presence, O Lord. Restore to me the joy of salvation in Jesus' name. Your word says in 2 Corinthians 5 verse 21, For he hath made him to be sin for us, who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. Let this come into fruition in my life, that I may be made in the righteousness of God in Jesus' name. My own righteousness can't save me. It is like a filthy rag. Let your righteousness become mine in Jesus' name. You are the only one who can sustain or keep me standing till the end. I'm crying unto you, my God. Keep me from all sins in Jesus' name. Deliver me from the power and bondage of sin in Jesus' name. I believe in your word, which states in John 8, verse 36, So if the Son sets you free, you will be free indeed. I gain and maintain my total freedom through what Jesus did for me on the cross. I believe that I am now a new being in Christ Jesus. Old things have passed away. Everything concerning my life has become new in Jesus' name. I am tired of rising and falling, Lord. Help me to stand firmly for you. I don't want to keep hurting your heart, Lord. Deliver me from all my besetting sins. I receive the grace to walk triumphantly over sin like you did while you were physically on earth. Lord, I want to testify like Apostle Paul that I am more than a conqueror over sin. Help me, Lord to set my affection on things that are eternal rather than on mundane things. It says in your holy word, in 1 Samuel 2 verse 9, He will keep the feet of his saints, and the wicked shall be silent in darkness, for by strength shall no man prevail. Many times, Lord, I have made resolutions not to sin again, but I have come to a dead end. My strength will ever fail me. I keep sinning, even when I know it's the wrong thing to do. I know what is right, but I lack the strength to do it. Lord, it is you alone that can keep a man from falling. Not falling is not by might nor by power, but by your Spirit. Forgive me for the times I have sinned and grieved the Holy Spirit. I am so sorry, Lord. I am sorry that I have tried to get my own way and follow my own interests without you. Forgive me, Holy Spirit. I yield myself before you. 1 John 1 verse 9 If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. I know you are faithful, Lord. Thank you for cleansing my sin 
and making me a new being entirely. Thank you for taking away my unrighteousness and making me the righteousness of God. Thank you, Lord, for blotting out my transgressions and giving me a new record. Thank you, Lord, for the salvation of my soul. As I receive your light into my life, I shall not know sin any more in Jesus' name. I shall not look back to the things of this sinful world in Jesus' name. I shall stand to the end for God. I declare my dominion over sin in Jesus' name. Amen.